The Colney Hatch Company acquired land for a cemetery near Colney Hatch. It is now known as New Southgate. The name was changed to avoid association with the nearby Colney Hatch Lunatic Asylum. Originally intended to cover 200 acres, the cemetery only ever reached 150. Now this is what you call a very well-maintained graveyard. It is absolutely beautiful. I mean, look at these. These are amazing. I mean, I know it's a lot of you say to me, oh, you get closer, you want to read the gravestones, but I, I kind of have this rule that the newer graves, I, I don't want to film because I think it's, it's a bit disrespectful to um, the families um, because a, a lot of them are, are, are living and probably don't want their families headstones plastered all over the, the internet but here look I mean I'm not going to get close to that one because that's a new one but you can see when the gravestones like this when the coffins tend to rot and they have heavy things on top of them that's when you see the the, the tilt because the ground collapses in on itself here look if you look here look can you see it's tilting? Well, that's ground movement, which is obvious. And here's a good example of a rotted. You can see where the coffins have rotted because the ground has sunk. So many a times when you're walking through a graveyard and there's no headstone and you see something like that, it tends to mean that it has rotted away. So the ground has sunk with it. And when you hear of me, when I say I've fallen in graves, that's ten to what I mean, because uh, half the time you can't see if there's no gravestone and you're filming and you're trying to do a lot of uh, looking about and I do tend to fall in a lot of unmarked graves. But here there's a lot of examples, as you can see. The newer ones are over there and some of them are fantastic. I'm going to see if I can um, video them, but I might blur out, if I get quite good at editing, I might blur out the names um, of people, because as you can see, people are still visiting their loved ones, so uh, let's be a bit, let's be respectful. There's an unmarked grave there, you see. I mean, if you look here, more unmarked graves. I try not to, um, another unmarked grave there. Oh, there, there's a little cross in this one, look, so it's not quite unmarked. So, there looks like there's some above graves there. In that line, that's very unusual to see in an English graveyard. Above ground burials um, are not common. We have the old Victorian ones, of course. But they kind of went out of fashion and but i know in america um above ground burials are more pro proliferant no well i don't know what the word is but there are a lot more of them because of the high water table so i mean these are new ones here so these ones look fairly empty so the coffins uh, these are very new so i'm going to try not to show names but I'm going to show you the um, unmarked ones. So the coffins are put behind this. 
there are special drainages in the back of these because the um i know i'm pointing it a bit high but down below there are quite a few new ones so there are drainages behind these I don't think there's much to see behind there but they kind of slope you know which is quite good really they kind of slope downwards at an angle because when obviously decomposition um, they have to that has to run out so they're very well sealed at the front and then at the back they have like a drainage for the decomposition to run out and down if there is any if it if it leaks out of the coffin so this is a mausoleum where the coffins are placed inside the mausoleum these are all new so we're gonna skip along these I know you hate that but these are all very new ones with a lot of pictures on so uh, we're just going to take a brief look at this because this is quite unusual for like I said for England and it's hard to believe that in a few years time all of these are possibly going to look like the Victorian ones and someone like me is going to be walking around and uh, pointing out all the old graveyards and they're going to look like the ones that we're possibly going to look at a bit later on the ones we can actually examine closely this is very beautiful lots of flowers and bright and people spend huge amounts of money 